Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about permanent magnet and electromagnet. Permanent magnet which have magnetic power for longer period of time. So, this is the definition for the permanent magnet. You may be see the magnet in so many places like uh, bar magnet and the cylindrical magnet that are all permanent magnet. Now we will see how we can make a permanent magnet. There are different methods are available for making permanent magnet. Few I will discuss now. The first method is take a ferro magnetic material and rub with magnet. So that ferro magnetic material act as a magnet. Then the second method is hold the ferro magnetic material with magnet for longer period of time. After some time, the material act as a magnet. That is a, another method. But these are all the methods are not an effective way to produce permanent magnet. So the efficient way to produce a permanent magnet is take a ferromagnetic material and place inside the solenoid. like this way. When the T is flows, the current flows through the solenoid and the solenoid started to produce magnetic field. So that magnetic field magnetizes this ferromagnetic rope. So one end is at like a south pole and another end is at like a north pole. Okay. So this is the efficient way. Okay. Then if you take the ferromagnetic out from the solenoid also produces the magnetic property. So the material should retain its magnetic property in the absence of external magnetic field. So the materials choosing for making the permanent magnet are have high retentivity and high coercivity. Okay. So if you look at the hysteresis loop. This is the hysteresis loop or BH curve. Here B is a magnetic field inside the ferromagnetic material and H is a magnetic intensity that is related to external magnetic field. Here the magnetic field is produced by solenoid. Okay. So here you look at a point. This point is the retentivity. Okay. In this point H is equal to 0, B is not equal to 0 that is external magnetic field is 0. But the magnetic field inside the material is not zero. So the retentivity say how much magnetic field can hold a material in the absence of external magnetic field. So this value should be higher for making a material for permanent magnet. Okay. And this is the point of coercivity. This is a coercivity point. Here, if you see that the B not equal to zero, but Sorry, H not equal to 0, but B is equal to 0. That is, this point, coercivity say, how much time a material can hold a magnetic power. Okay, so the materials choosing for permanent magnet should have high retentivity and high coercivity. So, if you look at the hysteresis loop of the materials, I am taking here a steel material hysteresis loop. Okay, this is a steel hysteresis loop. B is. This is T and this is soft air. If you look at the steel hysteresis loop, the retentivity and the coercivity are high, but in the soft air, you look at this is the retentivity and this is the coercivity. These two are very low. So, the material choosing for making the permanent magnet is steel. Okay, and another material you can choose for. Cobalt. 
and al niku okay these are all the thing okay this is about the permanent magnet now we will see electromagnet so electromagnet act as magnet only when the current flows the electromagnets are using in different different applications the few one are electric bells cranes like that if you look at the application of electric bell there is a metal like this drum shape one part is there and there is a rod is there metallic rod okay this rod is wound by a coil and the coil is connected to a battery and a switch when the switch flows the current flows through the coil and this rod is act as a magnet so it is attracted by this drum like metal and it is strike the bell okay so this drum and produces the sound of bell okay so if you see this this material suddenly magnetize and demagnetize current flows it act as a magnet current stop it loses its magnetic power this is a electromagnet so the material chosen for electromagnet how low retentivity and low coercivity and high permeability then only the material suddenly loses its magnetic power and suddenly gain a magnetic power okay so if you see the hysteresis slope of the steel it have high retentivity and high coercivity but if you saw the soft end the retentivity and coercivity is very smaller value so the soft end is a better choice for the electromagnet okay this is about the electromagnet and permanent magnet thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like